Yeah, Facebook has that uh, facial recognition software, so they put together. Uh, they, oh my God, baby! Uh, Smallville star Allison Mack arrested in connection to a sex cult case. I read that. Writ written by Molly Freeman. Which one did you read? I'm reading Screen Rant. I don't know. They were branding her as a very bad person. Ooh. Yeah, I, I don't know how you can run a sex cult and be anything um, but a bad person, but I'm, I don't want to be judgmental. I'm here to listen. Uh, Smallville actress Allison Mack was arrested Friday by the FBI in connection to a case involving um, an alleged sex trafficking cult. Hmm. The group's leader, Keith Rainier, yeah, he's got to be French-Canadian, maybe from New Orleans. We had good gumbo in New Orleans. Mm -hmm. Those sex trafficking, though, um, was previously arrested in March. Mac was a series regular on Smallville from 2001 to 2011, appearing in the role of Chloe Sullivan. Yeah, never trusted her. Never trusted her. Uh, in the years since Smallville ended, Mac acted less, uh, at least on TV, but gained publicity recently due to the allegations against Nexium. That actually, okay, so he made it sound cool like this. This is how to trick people into joining your cult. You give it like a name like this. And it looks like, you know, uh, it looks like if you can't afford it, then AstraZeneca might be able to help you. It looks like a purple pill for um, depression, anxiety, or erectile dysfunction. But no, it's a sex trafficking cult disguised as self-help, as in help yourself to my sex slaves. Um, yeah, don't, you know, don't get suckered into these things here. Trust, uh, trust comic artist pro secrets will never lead you astray. Um, they've been accused of blackmail. See, I told you sex trafficking and forced labor. They're like, yeah. Um, today she was arrested on charges in connection to her involvement as one of the higher ranking members of Nexium. That's why she wasn't at Garden State Comic Fest last week with me. That's why she canceled, because she was being arrested for sex trafficking. I was like, why won't you be here and sign autographs for your fans? And I was like angry with her, but no, she, was, she had a good excuse. Um, as resulted by uh, THR, that's the Hollywood Reporter. Um, according to the U.S. Attorney's Office for the Eastern District of New York, Mac has been charged with sex trafficking, sex trafficking conspiracy, and forced labor conspiracy when reached for comment by BuzzFeed News. Ugh. A representative for Mac said, quote, at this time, I have no comment regarding the arrest of Allison Mac for sex trafficking of which she is guilty. Dude, you gave it all away. United States Attorney Richard P. Donahue released a statement on the arrest, quote, this better not be porn, but I feel like it will be. As alleged in the indictment, Allison Mac recruited women to join what was purported to be a female mentorship group that was in fact created and led by Keith Rainier. The victims were then exploited, both sexually and for their labor, uh, to the defendant's benefit. The office and our law uh, enforcement partners are committed to prosecuting predators who victimize others through sex trafficking and forced labor. And that means you, that means you. Uh, according to the United States Attorney's Office, Rainier established self-help programs under the title of Nexium over the last two decades. Baby, do you have, can I have a drink, please? Mm -hmm. That's not forced labor if I ask you to bring me a drink, is it? Uh, the organization is based in Albany, New York, with centers in the United States, Mexico, Canada, and South America. Mac allegedly recruited slaves under the guise that they were joining a self-help organization specifically geared toward women but they actually joined a secret splinter group within Nexium. So secret splinter groups. Hey, we only want to help you. Nope, secret splinter group. Uh, authorities allege Rainier coerced women into a master-slave relationship and forced them to endure 20 to 30 minute branding ceremonies wherein they were branded with a design composed of his initials. Mac and Rainier arrests follow a report from the New York Times published last fall with accounts of former members who said women were extorted into having sex and were branded with his initials on their hips. Oh, Jaws is in concert.
Yeah, we saw him when he toured with Cujo back in 1982. It sucked. Um, the secret group within Nexium was called DOS, or known as Lord Master of the Obedient Female Companions, uh, within which Rainier was known as the Vanguard. That's going to be my new nickname. Ethan Van Vanguard. No, Ethan Vanguard Van Skyver. Or Ethan the Vanguard Van Skyver. Rainier was arrested on March 25th at a via villa near Porta Vajarda. Oh my God. What? Look, it... A villa in Puerto Vallarta. Oh, so two L's here is a, is, an, is L, is villa, and then two L's here is a Y, Vallarta? How am I supposed to know that? Who made these rules? At a villa near Puerto Vallarta, Mexico, on charges of trafficking, sex trafficking, and conspiracy, and forced, forced labor conspiracy. Uh, FBI director uh, in charge, William F. Sweeney Jr., said in a press release concerning Max's arrest, as this pyramid scheme continues to unravel, why don't they go after like Avon or um, what's another pyramid scheme that everyone's always getting roped into? Tupperware. Tupperware is the pyramid scheme that I would like to see come tumbling down with those pressure sealed lids. Probably it'd, everybody would be okay. Um, we ask anyone who might have been a victim to reach out to us with information uh, that may further our investigation. This is really sad. This is like, you know, it makes the theme song to Smallville all the more poignant. I'm hearing it in my head. Fellow Smallville star Kristen Kriok, this is a lie right here. I read about this already. Who played Lana Lang from 2001 to 2009, was a member of the Nexium organization, but cut ties after leaving to, in 2012. Uh, she reported that she recruited Mac. So Kriok recruited Mac and Mac became the Mac, like literally. But Kriok had nothing to do with nothing. She didn't know anything. Following Rainier's uh, arrest last month, Kriok released a statement on Twitter clarifying her involvement with the organization. Oh, you're going down next. Uh, when I was about 23, and by the way, um, she was born in 1982. So uh, when she was 23, it was, 19, it was 2005. So she's saying that she left in 2012, that means she was a member of this sex cult for seven years and apparently had no idea what was going on. Well, I don't know. That might be true. Mac pleaded not guilty ch to charges against her when arraigned on Friday afternoon um, before United States uh, Magistrate Judge Cheryl Polak. There's currently no set date for Rainier's arraignment. All right, well, uh, this is all tragic, tragic news. And uh, we will keep you updated here on Comic Artist Pro Secrets, won't we, honey? Yes, we will. Well, let's take a minute to just reach out a hand uh, to those who donate to my Patreon, my Patreon backers. Here you guys are for the month of April. I, I can't thank you enough. Thank you so much for all of your support. Um, you know, these videos are made for you. They're dedicated. For, maybe not this one. This one wasn't dedicated or made for you necessarily. I, I wouldn't want well, they all are. They're all made for you. So uh, thank you very much for your support. Uh, if you'd like to join this community, link in the description. Thank you.